Hello and welcome to My Own Magic Reviews. My name is Mike Myown and this is another of My Own Reviews. Just a reminder, I buy what I review so I can be objective and the reviews can be unbiased. This week I'm reviewing an interesting piece of close-up magic called Monkey by Jeff Price. The trick was sold out at Blackpool, sold out at Magic Live, and at the time of this recording, it sold out on Jeff's website. Let me show you a short presentation. They say metal can't penetrate metal. But watch. Two ordinary objects, a key and a key ring. Let's put the key onto the key ring. Now notice that the key has three spots the key ring can be connected. This spot where I put it on the left, uh, the center spot where most people put it, and the uh, spot on the right. Now watch this because I am going to move the key ring from uh, this one over here on the uh, left to this one over here on the top right. Here we go. Boom. It's done. Did you see that? Amazing, right? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'll do it again, Mike, and I will. Watch, it's on this side, on the right. I'm going to move it just like that to the side. The one on the left, the one on the bottom. Oh, you th you've seen a similar trick where the guy just turns it, turned it over like that. Oh, well, th I don't do it that way. I actually move it right What's that? Move it to the middle section. Okay. All right. I will. Are you ready? Watch closely. Metal through metal. Well, as you can see, it's a close-up metal through metal penetration with a key and a key ring. I think it looks pretty damn good. What you didn't see in that video is that the key with the key ring attached can be handed out immediately after the effect and the spectator can examine it carefully. My presentation was the standard presentation suggested by Jeff. Um, it, it will be interesting to see what presentations other more creative than me magicians come up with. Let's take a look inside the package and see what you get. So here's what you get when you get Monkey, a very unusual package indeed. Yeah, it's a tear-off kind of uh, Ziploc pouch. And inside the pouch you have uh, a card. On the back of the card is the URL for the website that uh, includes the video tutorial. Uh, and uh, you get this uh, key holder or key ring, uh, which I have covered what it says here because I think that gives away part of the method and I don't want to share that right now. And you get a key ring and of course you get the uh, Mon key gimmick key. Yes, it's a gimmick key and a regular key so that should you care to, you could do a switch. But um, trust me, you don't need to. So that's the package. That's everything you get. Now let me tell you what I like about Monkey and what I think you ought to know. First, what I like, and there is lots to like about this trick. The first off, the first thing I like is, uh, wow, what an amazing method. Um, <laughs> this, the key does all the work. <laughs> it's amazing. Just amazing. Simply amazing. I like that it's self-working. There are no slights involved, no switches, uh, no clever misdirection is necessary. Even though it gives you an extra key that you could do a switch if you wanted to, it's not necessary. Um, and it 
It's right there. It's self-working, and it's super easy to perform. Um, I like that the gimmick key looks exactly like an innocent key. Nothing special about it. It's the kind of key that you'd use to unlock the door to your house. Um, I love that you can immediately hand out uh, for inspection um, the the key with the key ring on it in the in once you uh, move it into the the middle position. Uh, I like that. I like that it resets quickly. It's not complicated to reset but it has to be reset uh, and it is quick. It's excellent for strolling and close up and zoom, uh, but probably not for anything else. Um, there's, as I mentioned, uh, an ungimmick key is provided if you wanted to do a switch, but it's really not necessary. Um, it, this is great. Um, you know, we're always looking for those things that we can just carry around with us. This makes all the sense in the world. Just put it on your keychain and um, you have your magic with you all the time. And I like that there's an excellent tutorial provided on the uh, the website um, that um, that Jeff spends tells you everything you need to know in 15 minutes um, with some nice handling tips. Uh, so I like that. Here's what I think you need to know. You need to know, of course, it's small. It's a key, so it's not appropriate for stage or parlor. Um, there is no promo video um, on the website, which kind of surprised me. Um, it, it, it's very strong uh, visual, and uh, I, I think you know it would have been nice to have it there, but certainly with it being sold out, um, I guess he really doesn't have to promote it much. Um, it takes a private moment to reset. And, um, you know, um, you just need to be aware of that. You just can't automatically um, uh, be reset and ready to perform again. Um, it takes a moment and you need to do it um, uh, in, in private. And uh, it requires a special tool and the tool is provided that's uh, that you need to know as well uh finally it costs a hundred dollars that's pretty expensive that's pretty expensive now i like it uh i like monkey a lot um and uh you know uh I give it four and a half stars. Now, I take away that half star uh, for two reasons. Uh, one is because it costs $100, which I think is expensive. Um, and um, the second reason is because it really is a, you know, a one-trick pony. You know, uh, you can't do much else with it except move the key ring from one spot to the other spot. Um, so, I, I, you know, it would be nice if it did a little bit more. Um, I missed now. I like it enough that I went to Magic Live as soon as I got to Magic Live and made sure to buy one because I missed it. It was sold out at Blackpool. And uh, I'm glad I did get it when I did because it eventually was sold out at Magic Live before Magic Live um, uh, Magic Live uh, ended. Um, if you do get it, you'll understand completely why it costs $100. Um, it's a pretty... in intricate piece of uh, engineering um, and a lot must go into manufacturing it. So, uh, so it's a hundred dollars. Now, still, I think a hundred dollars is a lot to spend for an item, which, you know, uh, only does one thing. And the spectator is very likely to say, Hey, show me that again, which of course you can't do until you reset it. Now, I hope, Jeff, you're watching, and I hope you are working on a version that will allow you to bring the key ring back to its starting position, or even better yet, to go completely to the opposite side of the key before it locks. That would be nice. Five stars, then, for sure. Now, I think the only place you can get Monkey right now is at Jeff's Plain Sight website. It's plainsightmagic.com. But as I said, right now, it says it's sold out. I think you will have to contact uh, Jeff to find out when more will be available. Um, message him, and uh, I'm sure he'll get back to you. Uh, as I said, it's $100, $99.95. That's $100. It's available at plainsightmagic.com. Uh, so that's it. 
that's my review. Uh, I think Monkey is a terrific product, even though it's a little expensive. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll share it. I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. I hope you'll comment, especially if you have it or you are thinking about getting it. Uh, please, uh, please do comment. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and click the bell icon so you get notified the next time I post a review. And um, also, uh, if you're in the mood to buy some uh, interesting, cool magic, well, please visit my website. Um, it is right there, MikeMyOwn.com. You'll see lots of uh, interesting new, uh, new pieces there, and I hope you will check it out. So until I post another review, well, please have fun doing magic.